This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So a couple weeks ago, I posted some mod review videos of an ISO container pack uh, that allows you to basically you know, transport cargo containers around, included all kinds of mods that dealt with handling cargo containers and transporting them. And the containers were of different lengths from 10 foot, 20 foot to 40 foot in length. And today for you, I've got another cool mod, uh, the Flat Deck Transport Pack over at modhub.us. And this pack, as you have seen from the thumbnail, is pretty cool indeed. In fact, this is something that I have been seeing lots of folks ask about uh, back in 17. I think this mod basically existed in 17. Uh, but really didn't work too well. Uh, and in my testing today, uh, this thing seems to work fairly well uh, compared to the version from 17 that I had messed around with. But basically what it is, is we have two flat deck flatbed trucks, and then we've got a forklift that actually will connect or slide into a receiving slot on the back of the truck, and then we can drive or the truck around and basically transport whoops basically transport our forklift with the truck so we see these time to time uh, these are either transporting things like construction goods or you might see them uh, with respect to just transporting other consumer goods like maybe uh, something from a Home Depot or a home improvement store where it's probably where you're probably going to go someplace that doesn't necessarily have a forklift at the receiving location. See the forklift sticks in there fairly good. Now it's really just sitting in there friction. Uh, there isn't anything that's actually securing it in there. So if you drove pretty, pretty rough uh, you went fast over some hard roads. There is a chance that it would jar out. But uh, I had, in my testing, done a fair bit of abusive driving. And uh, overall, it seemed to stick in there fairly good. Let's, let's just drive through here and just kind of demonstrate this to you. See it jarring there a little bit, but still, it is really in no risk of falling off. Oh. Let's back up and run into something just to show. Now, this thing only goes nine miles an hour in reverse, so that kind of helps it. Oh, we got a pole here we can run into, maybe. There, see? All right. So, I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to take the straps off, come back here, and get in our forklift. And we're going to lower the forklift down to the ground. Okay. And we're just going to back out of the receiver. Like so. Now, at this point, Come around. Slide on in here. Pick up our pallet. Off to the side. And just repeat. Works pretty darn good. Let's 
if you're careful, you can actually pick up both of these. But you gotta be a little careful. I actually put these pallets on two at a time. Uh, but the way it works best is if you've got pallets really all the way in on the forks. Sometimes it's hard to do that uh, with respect to getting all the way in simply because of the way the wheels on the uh, forklift are. Let's see if we can do it on this one. Oh. That is all on me. That is not on the forklift. Inevitably, when you try to demonstrate something, it always ends up backfiring on you. Well, let's take a look at these things in the shop. Okay. Let's jump back. Oops. Jump back here to the shop, and let's go ahead and take a look. So, the trucks are going to be, obviously, in the truck section. And we've got the Flatbed Lizard Warrior. The only option we have is color selection on this particular truck. $119,000. $6,069 to lease. $1,190 per day. $2,500 per operating hour, basically. Didn't get that. And then we have a man version. Man 18.500 4x4. On this one, we actually have some choices. We have Trelleberg tires or Blizzard tires. Uh, the one that I've already got set up for the screenshot was the Blizzard. So let's do the Trelleborg tires. Change the rim color. And we can change the main cab color. Should we so wish? So we could go for an all black here. That's that. And then we have over in the miscellaneous, the forklift. And it is just color selectable. Let's go with a color matching black for our trucks. $25,500 to buy. $1,300 to lease. $255 per day. $535 per operating hour. And there they are. So we've got our forklift as we've already seen and we've got our two trucks and you can see there is the receiving area there in the back now it would be interesting if maybe as an enhancement for this mod is if when you slid here into the uh, receiver if you would get a you know attach an actual attach message we've seen Things like the bag and lift and a couple other mods out there that allow you to like attach a bag to a hook. It would be cool if as you basically slid into here, maybe you get to about this point, you would get the Q and you can hit Q and attach them. Maybe uh, you can't do that because maybe as you're loading the flatbed, you would get that Q message just because it's too close. Once you get all the way in there, then we're going to basically raise forklift. And now the description basically says you want to be careful that you don't raise this all the way up because it will start to shake and, and judder like that. Okay, Because the tires have collisions on them. What you want to do is you want to be kind of careful. Slide on in here. And then lift it up. Okay. Just to right before it's really touching the flat, touching the deck on the bottom. And there you go. Now you're good to go. Good to drive this thing around. See on the other man truck there, I actually have eight pallets of pig food. Man truck has anim and actually has an animated drive shaft also. 
I don't know if the uh, lizard has that. Let's go check that out. Yep, lizard has an animated drive shaft also. It's pretty cool. Both trucks have work lights on the back. In the top. Of course, when the forklift is attached, it would be nice if when the forklift was attached, if uh, there was a way to basically have it Again, with maybe the connector, it would work. If you hit Q, uh, then you would basically have the taillights on the back of the forklift operate as your truck taillights. There we go, guys. We've got the Flat Deck Transport Pack. Again, it's over at modhub.us. Let me know in the comments what you think of this thing. I think it's pretty cool, and I'm glad to see it out there. It's always something that I had kind of hoped and wanted to see working well in Farm Sim 17, and it seems to be working fairly well here in 19. I think with just a few little extra enhancements, it could uh, be taken all the way to a knockout mod. Hey guys, until next time, happy farming.